Hello, everyone. I am going to present my screen so that you can also see the book. I am going to read a few of our chapters of Sofia Valdez and the Vanishing Vote of the Questionnaire series. This is chapter 15. The next morning, Miss Greer's classroom wall was covered with new articles from the class. Miss Greer stood back and put her hands on her hips. She smiled. That's better, she said, clapping her hands. The newspaper was better, but things between Ada and Rosie were not. They weren't even speaking to each other. They were, however, very eager to talk to Sophie. Rosie whispered on her way to the pencil sharpener, and bird populations are dropping around the world. We need to help them. During spelling, Ada passed Sophia a note. Did you know that turtles have existed for 250 million years? But some are going extinct. Then Rosie sent a note with a drawing of a flock of birds. Ada saw that, frowned, and sent another note with a picture of Sophia holding a turtle. Before long, Sophia's pockets were stuffed with notes. Sophia was relieved when it was time for the class to be. She still didn't know who she was going to vote for, but at least the election would be over soon and things could get back to normal. Rosie had brought Gizmo to add some interest to her presentation. Ada had borrowed a turtle named George from her cousin and had him in a small pen on the floor. Ada and Rosie stood beside each other, but didn't look at each other. Miss Greer introduced each of them and their teams cheered. Then she called on Sophia to say a few words, to ask some questions the class had written. Sophia walked to the front of the class. She reached into her pocket and pulled out her folded speech. As she did, her friend's notes tumbled to the floor. Sophia unfolded her speech and began to read. We, the students and Miss Lila Greer's class, stand here today on the brink of a new era in grade two, she began. Never before has any class, she looked at the scraps of paper on the floor. Never before has any class, Sophia paused. She looked again at the scraps on the floor. Never, suddenly Sophia refolded her speech. She looked at Ada and Rosie and her classmates with their bird and turtle buttons. She looked at Miss Greer. Go ahead, said Miss Greer. My speech was fancy and talked about why elections are important in their history, Sophia said, but I forgot something. She took a deep breath and continued. Actually, Sophia said, we forgot something. We forgot something important, she continued. We got so excited about the election that we forgot why we were having one. Our election isn't about birds or turtles or pets at all. It's about deciding on something we can care about Together, Sophia smiled. Together, she said. That's the important part. In a community, we have to care about each other and listen to each other, she continued. Otherwise, we won't want to be a community anymore. And it won't matter if we have a bird or a turtle or if we even have a pet at all. Well, Sophia finished quietly. That's all I wanted to say. The class burst into applause. Miss Greer nodded and smiled. Ada and Rosie looked at each other and then looked at Sophia. Then they squished in for a big hug. I'm sorry, whispered Rosie. Me too, whispered Ada. Kind of reminds me of Maddox Matters, right? How we take care of not only ourselves, but each other. We take care of Maddox so that we really have a fantastic Mustang community. They both hugged Sophia, who felt a big wave of relief rush over her. It was going to be okay after all. Rosie and Ada stepped out of the huddle and shook hands, and the debate began. All right, so this one, I'm going to zoom in. I don't know if it's going to let me do Oh, no, no. It's not going to let me zoom in. Sorry, friends. It says, what's inside? A mystery or insides? Hard shell. Good for hiding in. Not like an eggshell. Hiding. No teeth. Turtles are wonderful. <laughs> Legs for walking and swimming. Um, this is a box turtle, so probably not for swimming. <laughs> Chapter 16. 
The first question goes to Ada, said Sophia. Why would a turtle be a good pet? Ada looked up George. Just look at that face, she said. The turtle pulled back its head and snapped its shell shut. Can't even see its face, said Rosie. I know, said Ada. Turtles are mysterious and wonderful. What do turtles have in their shells? How do they know when it's safe to come out? How do they eat without teeth? There are so many things to learn about them. Isn't that a good thing for a classroom pet? The class nodded. That's a good point, someone whispered. Ada put the turtle back into the pen. Rosie, said Sophia, same question. Why would a bird make a good class pet? Rosie held her bird gizmo on her finger. Birds make great pets, said Rosie, because they are beautiful and they can do something we could never do by ourselves. They can fly. Gizmo lifted off her finger, looped around the room, and settled back onto her shoulder. We could learn a lot about flying by watching a bird in our classroom, she said, and they sing, too. Team bird cheered. Team turtle nodded. The debate continued, with Sophia reading questions and Rosie and Ada answering in turns. Then they responded to each other's comments with questions or comments of their own. Sophia made sure they each had equal time to answer. Each girl made her case before the voters. They talked about caring for the pets and what to expect from a pet bird or a pet turtle. The debate helped everyone understand what was involved with caring for birds and turtles. At last, Ada and it was time to vote, though she couldn't tell anyone. Sophia had made up her mind. She knew which pet she wanted for the class. Last chapter, I think, for today. Chapter 17. Now, the moment we've been waiting for, said Miss Greer. Let the voting begin. Sophia wheeled the voting booth to the front of the room. One by one, Sophia's classmates went into the booth, closed the curtain around it for privacy, and voted. As they came out, Sophia gave each student a special I Voted sticker from Clerk Clark at City Hall. When the voting was done, the vote counting began. Sophia opened the box and took out a ballot. Bird, she said. Miss Greer made a mark on the board in the bird column. Team Bird cheered. Turtle, said Sophia, reading the next ballot. Team Turtle cheered. Sophia tallied the votes. At first, the bird team led three votes to one, but soon Turtle caught up. Then it took the lead. Turtle five, bird four. The counting, or sorry, the voting continued. Once again, bird took the lead, but not for long. Turtle caught up again. Turtle reached eight votes. Bird had six. One more to win, said Ada. Go, Turtle. Come on, Bird, said Rosie. Sophia pulled out the next vote. Bird, she said. Eight Turtle to seven Bird. She unfolded the next vote. Bird, she said again. It's a tie. And the final vote will be the winner. The class stood up and eager. We watched as Sophia reached into the box for the final vote. The winner of the election, she said, and our new class pet is, the class came closer. Sophia felt around inside the box, is, she opened the lid of the box and looked inside, is, is, asked Miss Greer. A terrible look crossed Sophia's face. Is nobody, she said. She flipped the box upside down. Nothing fell out. One vote was missing. It's been stolen, someone yelled. The class erupted into chaos. Thief, it's unconstitutional. Call the police, call Congress, call the president, call the free press. The confusion startled Gizmo. She flapped frantically around the room and landed on Miss Greer's hair. Good gracious, said Miss Greer, trying to shoo Gizmo away. Double dear me. She twirled around and bumped into the turtle cage. Gizmo flew to the tip top of the window frame and chirped loudly while 17 cheering students and a flustered teacher tried to coax her down. Nobody noticed George make his escape down the hall. It took the whole school the rest of the afternoon to find the turtle 
who had fled all the way to the music room and hidden in one of the big bass drums. Sophia left school angry and disappointed. She had worked hard to make sure the election went as smooth as silk, but instead, it was bumpy as the bumpiest thing in the world. Sophia was so mad she couldn't even figure out what that was. Abuelo watched Sophia as they walked home together. He could tell she didn't want to talk. He knew of, he knew all of Sophia's expressions. This look told him she was thinking. They walked together silently. At last, they passed the library. They were almost home. I know just the thing for you, Abuelo said. What? asked Sophia. You'll see. La Tortuga Rapido means the fast turtle. And we will stop um, it today at chapter 18. And we will come back and read more another time. I hope you all are having a fantastic week at home so far to kick off Monday. It is Monday night here at my house. And then tomorrow we have a remote learning day. So hopefully you'll be able to tune in and catch these chapters. And I will be adding more chapters soon to our Schoology page. Have a great day.